Galileo taught an idea that the people of his day thought was obviously wrong. He believed the earth revolved around the sun, not the other way around. It felt instinctively wrong to the people because they had never thought it otherwise. The idea was especially upsetting to the church since they thought he was trying to reinterpret the Bible. Further, it suggested the church was in error. It took 300 years for the church to acknowledge that Galileo was right. There may be something that seems right to you as well. For example, it's obvious a pool ball is a solid object, but is it? You, like all humans, are an experiential creature. Most of what you believe at the most fundamental, instinctual level, you learned firsthand. You absorbed a knowledge of gravity by falling as a toddler. You also observed it while repeatedly dropping your bottle to the floor. Hopefully only once you learned about hot by touching the stove. You also discovered that things around you were solid. You felt walls, and you knew your hand didn't pass through them. When a tennis ball bounced off a wall, it made total sense. You extended your knowledge of solid to other things. You knew without ever trying to do it that a beach ball and a banana would bounce off the wall too. The ability of your mind to extend your experience to other situations worked most of the time, but not all. When you learned that super small things like atoms were not solid, your intuition became a hindrance. The thought that solid things are not made of smaller solid ones made little sense. And even today, you have a hard time understanding an atom as a bundle of energy. It doesn't easily fit with your previous experiences. An atom isn't like a tiny BB with hard edges. It is really more like a cloud that has edges that may reach the span of the entire Earth. And that description isn't spot on because an atom's energy cloud is a mathematical probability expression. It relates the chance of finding the atom's energy in any specific place. If you could see an atom's energy as color, it would be bright in the core and fade into the background the farther you move from the center. Two atoms placed close to each other have some overlap of their energy clouds. As they move apart, the overlap is less obvious, but they still have a remote probability of affecting each other. So if atoms are so much like soft clouds, why can't your hand go through a wall? Because the Pauli exclusion principle. Wolfgang Pauli said the azimuthal magnetic principle and spin quantum numbers of two electrons can't be the same. Or a simple way to think about it, although not entirely correct, two atoms can't be in the same place at once. As they get in close vicinity, their mathematical wave functions overlap more significantly. This means they affect each other where they can't pass directly through each other. With a color model, you can see the increasing overlap until they reach a border that can't be trespassed. Since they can't pass, they either bounce off or go around. Looking at two molecules composed of a chain of atoms, one chain can't pass through the other. Thus, the molecules, like individual atoms, reach a point of bouncing off or going around too. Zooming out farther, you see molecules can also have links between them. Although these are weaker than atomic links, they are strong enough to hold the structure intact, forming a bigger border. You can continue to zoom out and eventually see a structure that contains millions of atoms linked. Thus, many tiny atomic bundles of energy cumulatively add up to a border that can't be traversed. To get an idea of the scale of atoms, go to this website, scaleofuniverse.com, 
and zoom towards smaller and smaller items until you reach a hydrogen atom. You will get an idea of how small atoms are. Even though they are soft at the micro scale, cumulatively they become hard at the macro. Two colliding pool balls have gazillions of atoms stopping the others from passing through. That's why you can't put your hand through the wall. The linked atoms in your hand and the linked atoms of the wall don't allow each other to pass. Maybe someday in a different world, the Pauli exclusion principle will be altered. And like the resurrected Jesus, you will pass through a wall or a locked door. With this explanation of solidness, you can probably understand why your hand can go through water. Although the atoms of your hand are strongly linked, those of water are not. Here you can see molecules of water flowing around linked atoms of a molecule that is part of your hand. Your hand behaves similarly in the air. However, the air atoms are much more spread out. Thus your hand goes through air much easier than water. This is why you row a boat with the oars in the water and not the air. Understanding energy better changes the way you see the world. Physical stuff is really uncountable numbers of bundles of energy connected. Each bundle is a soft mathematical cloud at the micro scale, but solid with hard edge at the macro. Remember that the atom's energy cloud is made of an unknown substance. Nobody knows exactly what energy is. As the most fundamental substance, it is what it is. The mysterious substance organizes itself according to strict rules that scientists have observed on the atomic scale for dozens of years. And on a large scale, humans have used it from the beginning. Just like scientists, you've observed the macro rules of energy since you were born. Energy has only one companion in the universe, and that is consciousness. It too is made of something unknown. You know your mind is real because you have one. You can't show beyond a doubt that your mind differs from the energy of your body, but you seem to have an overwhelming sense of it. As much as you feel at home in your body, you also have a sense that it is something other than your mind. You always feel as though you are in or attached to your body, but you are not your body. That is not scientific or philosophical proof, it is evidence. Evidence that energy and your mind cohabitate within your own body. As a human, you are unique in that you are the only thing that exists with this overlap. A rock is only energy and God is only mind. You have both. Keep thinking and I look forward to your feedback. Please leave your comments and questions below or contact me at my email address. Until the next video, remember humility, thanks, and joy.